going on vacation to relax and enjoy yourself, the last thing you want to do is take a chance on hotels or cruise lines or transportation. Well, to make sure that you get the most for your money and to discuss the winner of this year's Leisure Travel Leader Awards, here is Mark Murphy, the publisher of Vacation Agent Magazine and the author of Travel Unscripted. And, and this is great because yeah. these awards were given by people in the industry. Is that Correct. right? These are travel agents, travel professionals. They sell $100 billion of travel. They sell 70% of all cruises and tours, 60% of all international airline tickets, which surprises a lot of people. They're alive and well, and they're getting feedback not only from themselves with the interaction with the supplier, but from millions, tens of millions of consumers that they sell every year on some of these great products. So I love it. These are the real deal awards. So right. let's start out with what is the best overall hotel and resort chain out there? Well, Marriott got that. And Marriott got that because they're consistent across all levels. The service is there. And business travelers have known that for a very long time. And I think on the resort side, Marriott has really grown its business. And you'll see that consistency all the way down to the resort level. So you can count on them. Wherever you go, the Marriott's going to have a very high standard. Absolutely. How about for the very high-end luxury hotels? What are we looking Four at? Four Seasons. They do a yeah. fantastic job. The Four Seasons is kind yeah. of synonymous with, uh, yeah. I mean, what, what more can you ask? I was in Bora Bora and I checked out their property. I was staying at a different brand, another high-end brand. But I went over to check it out. And again, it's just impeccable service. How about all-inclusive? Some of those places you yeah. go where you pay one price before you get there and everything's included. Well, you know, that, that has been a trend that's been on the rise for the last few decades. And Sandals has been at the forefront of that. And what they've done is they've combined romance with luxury in an all-inclusive price. So by combining that all up in this economic environment, you basically know the price before you go. And you can always expect to be at a couples-only resort and get a great level of service and great value at the luxury end which was unusual many years ago in the all-inclusive segment. And the other side of the sandals is the they also own the beaches yes. resorts, which is the family version of that. Correct. I've heard it said that sandals is where you go to make the babies, and then beaches <laughs> is where you go once you have them. I, it's a, it's a it's chain a great, I love. That's a great angle, yeah. Um, so domestic car rental companies, yeah. all of us, you know, most of us just go for the cheapest car when we rent cars, but there is a difference in companies, yeah? Without a doubt. You've got a family-owned business with enterprise rental car, and what they do is they take college grads. They put them in their suits. They put them out on the lots. And they learn the business from the ground up. And eventually they're in the back office. They handle every position. So they know the business start to finish. And they're really focused on taking care of you, the customer. And I think that's, again, where the difference is. Because a car is a commodity. Mm -hmm. So how do you differentiate? They differentiate with a level of service. How about cruise lines? Cruise lines are under fire quite a bit yeah, you know, these days. It's been a tough, uh, a tough few weeks for the cruise industry. One thing I'll stress is cruises are very safe. 16 million people last year took a cruise somewhere around the world. And the innovator in that segment has been Royal Caribbean. What they've done is you can get on one of their ships and you can go ice skating. You can go surfing. You can, in some cases, ride a zip line. You know, multiple stories above the deck. So there's plenty of activities, and they right now have the two largest ships at sea, Oasis of the Seas and Allure of the Seas. I've been on both of them, and they're really just spectacular ships. And they give you the opportunity to do more than just sit around and lounge around, but you can certainly do that if you want. Right, so, and so they came out on top. And all of these awards are given by people in the travel industry. So rather than getting a sense of just what the, the people who are riding on one cruise ship all year, right. who only have a chance to, to sample one, these are given by people who've been booking every ship. Right, and imagine if you, you book hundreds and hundreds of people, aggregated become, becomes millions, and you get feedback from all of those travelers. It's not a single person writing on TripAdvisor, I like it or I don't like it, and what my, what my personal bias right. is. It's feedback from hundreds and, of thousands and millions of travelers, and that's what really makes this a special award. That's fantastic. Mark, thank you so much. Thanks, Great Katie. information. Up next, if you're for some reason stuck at home this winter, well, why don't you brighten up your space with new colors? We are going to show you how just after this. Travel Unscripted, Mark's book. Don't forget to check it out.